Well, what I mean by testing is just manual testing. Um, we'll leave that for now. So we see this building. Do a post. Gets up and running. So we post that. We get a score of two. Boo. We get a score of zero. So then words slash top. Failure. All right, what'd we do wrong? Cannot read properties of undefined. Okay. Sure. So technically, because of existing scores is always going to come back as that, we want to do that. And we can just go remove this. And instead of checking for that, it would be raw. So it's going to restart. Is it done? Not yet. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. I think we've all seen the, uh, the flow charts I make. Hold on, where'd it go? There it is. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, so we get zero there. Gentacular. Exactly, perfect. We get a score of two. All right, so the way we're doing our scan is wrong. At the moment, I'm between jobs. Uh, not the hackathon. I do maybe want to reach out for some some questions because I seem to be having an issue making my verifier consume someone else's issuer. And it's yelling at me about key vault stuff and we verified everything. So there's obviously something I'm misunderstanding there. But yeah, if anyone does know, here's what he's talking about. highly recommend you go uh, sign up for it and yeah even if you don't plan on finishing something 
at least asking them questions in their Discord while it's going on, that's what they're there for as a resource, that right there is super valuable. But yeah, we ran into some stuff. We're able to generate the QR code, but the moment we go to scan it, we get a massive error that basically, by the end of it, boils down to this searched stuff here, right? So unable to access Key Vault resource with given credentials. but we've verified all of it, right? But here's the thing, almost everything we've seen shows people consuming an issuer they created rather than just having a verifier that's checking against someone else's issuer. And that's the issue, I, or the problem I think we're having. Every single example we see is about having your own issuer and I don't want that. I wanna verify someone else's issued credentials. That's actually the most common use case I can think of, right? When it's all said and done after this is a, a thing that everyone's doing, there's only gonna be so many actual like places that issue credentials and then places that verify them are gonna be way more. So we're actually trying to do the common case, but I just don't know, like there's not enough documentation about that common case. Uh, Guru, async anything is going to break your brain. I don't think JS has anything to do with it. So expression attribute names can only be specified when using expressions. We haven't really had to do a scan for a long time. So I think that's where we're going wrong. <laughs> there you go, Dron. Nice, nice. We don't like memes here. Especially memes that throw anyone or anything under the bus. But as far as puns, ooh, puns are just amazing. Yeah, this is a 100% pun-friendly uh, stream. I mean, very much that code won't compile. It's not valid syntax. Oh, and it was held. Actually, your message didn't even go through. Interesting. Because they think you are a likely ban evader. Count created two minutes ago. I don't know. Probably because of the account created two minutes ago. I appreciate that, thank you. But it's tricky. 
Uh, I have not listened to that before. Thank you for the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Gandon? And uh, very much. Thank you. So yeah, sorry, but you know, I appreciate that. We have definitely had plenty of people get banned and then make a brand new account. It happens. I am a bit of a jerk sometimes. Not maliciously, but I tend to say it how it is rather than sugarcoating things. I know, I know. I'm just letting you know. We've had people do it. Welcome. I'm curious what it is about my stream that got you to create an account. Just wanting to be able to chat? Which is cool. I guess, how about this? How'd you find out about the stream? It's the mustache. Okay. How'd you even think to search Twitch for it? And you're obviously familiar with Twitch at that point, right? So have you just never chatted in any other streams ever? Which is interesting, but eh, whatever. I'm just curious. Alright, just asking. Alright, well cool. Welcome. So yeah, this part right here is almost certainly due to our scan. So here's what we can do. Yeah, we have to give it something. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. That's a good name. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, let me go look at our data table. So words here, we just want to look for anything that starts with words. So when we're doing our query of scanning things, we're trying to pass a bunch of stuff. What do you mean by what faces? This one? Okay, so this is to get a random one. Where's our scan IDs by filter? Boom. Mm. I think that'll actually work now. 
Oh, you're saying like the replacements. If you want to see all the replacements we can do, you can see the list over here. Um, we do need to reboot this. Hold on. There we go. So when that builds, we're going to go run our aggregator some more and see if removing that initial bit fixes things. And we haven't added our filter yet. Our filter would just be a starts with, and that'll be easy. Get a score of two right there. <laughs> the email one's really good. Not bad, huh? Not bad, huh? Okay. Well, now we need to work on getting that into our front end and then deploying things out. I do want to add that filter, though. Use filter expression instead. Yep. So we need to go just look up filter expression, which they don't have docs for. Yeah, let's check out this cheat sheet, maybe.
So we don't want to... I guess we would do it with the key condition expression. Yeah, anyone got a good example of how to do a filter expression and begins with? Good, how about you? You know what, I think it's fine for now. So, let's get the front end up and running for it. And yeah, anyone who wants to know what we're working on, check out npmpm.com. It's a game. There is no auth for it right now, so you just log in and we all share the same user, which is why your score is 305 already when you just, just got there. We're currently going to be working on the high scores page. Filter that into the front. So yeah, let's get rid of all of this. Uh, we need to export a loader function from Remix.
Oh, and hold on. Doing the wrong axis. So words top dot catch. What's up, where is X? How you doing? Are you still streaming? Oh yeah, what you been up to? So, available words, unavailable words. Hey, ah, kind of thought that was coming, but I didn't want to jinx it. Thank you for the raid. What are you up to? I forget, you were doing crystal lang stuff. Last time I remember, at least, right? What you been doing since? And today was some uh, coding game? Nice. Which algorithm or whatever did you get done today? And maybe I'm misunderstanding coding game. Uh, for everyone just joining though, let me show you. And you may be getting an ad or something, so hold on. words. Yeah, let me know when the ad's over. Hmm. And we can actually do this real quick. Hey. I know, I just now realized that, Scally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know. I get it. I get it. Touche. Touche. Is the ad still going? Anyone just finish up their ads? I've got the ads cranked down as low as I can get them. Okay, I would hope so. I got them cranked way down. Let me just finish hacking out this type real quick. And that's just going to be word... String count number.
Uh, English only, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, English only, please. If I can't understand it, I can't have it in my chat over there. Which is why we won't be talking about calculus. Boom, nailed it. Okay, so for everyone who just got here, let me show you at least the basic gist of what we're doing. We're gonna head to the launched version of it so far. And you guys can play along. Technically, we are all on the same account though. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Salam. But if you head to that page, cool. You can type in a word, right? And doctor is a word that we've already done. So we're gonna get, you've already tried that word, right? But is there another word we could try? Well, maybe doctors? And it technically counts. Hey, it's a partial match, so we only get one point for it. We'd get two if it wasn't an NPM. So the goal of the game is try and think of a word, an English word, between three and 10 characters long, that is not an NPM repo already. It's harder than you think. Now, keep in mind, you can kind of gamify it by adding S or ED to the end. Oh, works, right? Ah, yeah, it's just kind of fun. And right now we're working on the high scores list. Technically, high scores here is empty because that's the launched thing. And we just now wrote the query to make this happen. part we're in the middle of right now is actually changing out that page and uh, yeah we got the endpoint done we should be able to just push it up so word count here has an implicit any um, let's do just word score as that type and we can pull that in. You want to find one that is not a repository yet. We haven't had any yet, but we're taking our time. I don't know. You let me know if you catch him. We'll call that good. See if it renders. Will it blend? Oh. All right, let me look at the network tab real quick. Ah, oh, we're getting a 500. Hmm. 
So at high scores, here we're doing a dot map. Seems strange to me that we'd be getting that as an issue. So what I think I want to do is log out what we're getting. So we get a 200 success from that. Totally. So we're getting the right data out of that. Why would that be failing? Hmm. And because it's coming from the loader function, it should be there by the time this has run. Well, let's try this. We are getting undefined. <laughs> it scores, not words.
Hey, all right, cool. So here's the next thing. Do we just deploy it up, call it good, see what happens? Nope. It's a hoodie. Hoodie that looks like a suit. That was what I was looking for. App. Cool. Uh, feet. Add high scores. Boom. You got to take off? Yeah, no worries, robotic head. See you soon. Okay, so our next bit, we need to get the back end deployed. And once again, this is why we use something like Architect, so I don't really have to do anything other than just call their command and they throw all this stuff up there for me. We just move on. gets built, we generate the cloud formation deployment, and then cross our fingers and hope that when we go and look at the, uh, the high score page, we see something worthwhile. And yeah, these are some hefty lambdas. The login is 28 megs, thanks to the Azure Identity SDK. So we're gonna wanna start getting some Webpack involved so we don't have to ship everything. But, Let's see, will it blend? Wait, what video? Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. I can always uh, remember to go look for that. And yeah, it looks like uh, we're back up and running.
All right, looks like we're deployed up. Will it blend? Nope. Okay, so now we get to have the fun of digging into why that didn't just plain work. Mass deploy finished. Interesting. Well, now I need to go log into AWS and see what happened. So hold on. All right, so log groups. Ah, get word stop. Boom. I forgot to update those import paths. That's on me. That should actually be a pretty quick fix. Yep, forgot to double check those. If I just paid attention more, we would have found it. It would have been super quick. But no. Alright, so we saved it. We'll get it pushed up. While that's deploying, I'm going to use the restroom and grab a whiskey. So I'll see you in a sec. BRB.
Alright, I'm back. All right, looks like it's up there. What do you guys think? Do you think we got it? <sighs> looks like not. I'm not seeing the right time right there. That's the same error we had. That's the latest. So we're still getting an error there. What would the error then be? Hmm. We're seeing it in runtime user function. Cannot find module, right? We fixed it here. Uh, it's just letting you know, like, the stack, like, require stack is the things that chained together to cause the problem. So requires, when a require fails, it's going to tell you which things required what as it goes. Hmm. So we don't see any of that here yet. That's totally different functions that shouldn't matter. We just try another deploy anyway? Maybe I forgot to save a file? Oh, it's fine, Captain. It happens. Um, yeah, we didn't finish. We got to a point where we've got a, like a really tricky bug to go through to like actually debug, but it's not exactly obvious what's going wrong there. I 
And I think part of the issue is that every single bit of their documentation assumes that we're going to create our own issuer. When really, we want to be able to just create a verifier. Right? So that verifier should be able to consume another issuer. but we're getting an issue, or not an issue, we're getting an error saying that we're forbidden from using the key vault that we're using, but we've totally set up our key vault for all that. So yeah, um, really we need 425 show because we're trying to use their issuer. And I yeah, we got to talk to just an expert about it at some point. But because... They're, you know, just not around. Maybe we can wait till the hackathon's kicking off and jump into the Discord and ask some people. That might be the way to go. But we couldn't just sit there spinning our wheels all day, so I decided to hop into some other parts. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to set up the high scores page. And now we're trying to deploy out changes we made to the high scores page.